out your window Let's take a trip to the ghetto The ghetto Like I was important to them, you know, like like I was needed, you know? One night near the end of our shoot, Arturo Jimenez, a Hazard gang member and one of our extras, was shot and killed by a deputy of the sheriff's department. Smokey was a member of our gang. His name is Art Jimenez, his real name. And he was a good guy, you know, he played in a, in a, in a small part of American Me. He liked it, you know, and it was his way of, of uh, it was an opportunity for him that he wanted to grow on. Well, it makes me sad, bro, you know? There's a lot of sadness in my neighborhood. There's a lot of homeboys that I know that died, you know? It's really not, like, a big thing anymore, you know? When I was six years working with gangs and, and I buried 26 kids, after all the funerals I've done, I'd always cornered the kid who I thought was vulnerable enough to hear something from me after he's passed by the ca open casket of his dead homeboy. And I'd put my arm around him, he's crying, and I'd say, hey, you know, I never want to see you lying in a casket at 17. They always said one of two things, and it was eerie because it was always the same. They'd say, you got to die sometime, or they'd say, why not? If a kid cannot imagine a future for himself, then his present is not very compelling at all. And so he doesn't care whether he inflicts harm or whether he ducks to get out of harm's way. It's a very, very ugly situation here. It's really bad. Eight months after we finished filming American Me, the streets of L.A. exploded after the Rodney King verdict. I have yet to see a large convention of National Guard. Grand Shopping somewhere. Center is going to be a total loss. If you can see them racing in and out of the front of the store, there are no officers in the parking lot. The shooting is taking place. We are. A few months after the riots, we caught up with some of our homeboys. A robbery occurred in the neighborhood. The suspect, you know, the way I look at it, the suspect, you know, he looked like me, you know, so that's what brought me back. I loved acting, you know, something you dream about, you know, that thing would never happen to you. I didn't believe in myself, I guess. I didn't believe it that I could do something with it. I, I, I thought I was just being fed this, like, to get good work out of me at the time, you know, but deep down, I didn't think that I could take it further, you know. I, I, I felt that, you know, once this film was over, it was going to be over, you know, and, and, you know, we just go back to, you know, what we were doing before, you know, but, um, man, I wish I would have grabbed it and ran with it, you know, but. It's me, I can't put the blame on nobody else. I gotta set a goal and go with it, you know, I just stay out of that neighborhood and, you know, it's harder and harder to do time now, you know, when you were younger, you know, hey, it wasn't nothing, you could deal with it, but now it's like, you know, it's getting old, man. I'm getting old. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna ride in these places. You know, it's it's either I make that move now or you know, this is gonna be me. You know, career criminal. In this December, one of my youngest brothers was killed. He was 17. We all knew the consequences of walking in a gang, and it's been hard though. I have shot people before and hurt a lot of other people, but it was something that I didn't care about because it was either them or us. Now that my brother passed away, I see the way my mom cries, my dad, 
Now I know how other families cry. And you can't, I can't no more because now I have a conscience. This is um, Mary, my brother Javier. And I learned a lot from, from the bad. And now I want to turn into something good. I enrolled in um, junior college. And um, I like it. Uh, this is what I want, what I want to be doing. Studying law. And I want to be a probation officer. I want to give people a chance. I want to give someone a chance. Because no one gave me a chance. What's a wrong friend, sir? <laughs> This is the last time you guys talked to me. The last year, I started working for the casting director, Sally Pearl. Oh, am I alone here? You two must be studio exec. I learned a lot, and now I'm here doing a show at the American Renegade Theater. This is where I spend most of my time, you know. I consider them another family. They take me, you know. They accept me for what I am, and I like that, you know. You got a menu on your back? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just my last name. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, that must be a painful uh, initiation. Yeah, yeah. What's that, MC? MCF. What's that? The gang. What's it? So what does that mean? Like mostly Christian fellas? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you gonna have the light? I'm a, a soldier, a, a bodyguard, you know. Last show, I was a furniture mover. It was called Lady on Fire, and I didn't have no lines, but I just moved myself on stage like just moved myself and I had fun with it and people loved me. <laughs> Didn't you used to work at that dorm? Yeah, until some big go and ugly jacket got me fired. He looked just like you, only not as stupid. <laughs> it's fun being on stage. Hey, funny man, I got a tip for you. You're fired. Hey, hey. you need a new waiter. After this show, I want to do light or stage manage. This is the way I'm educated myself little by little, you know. I said I was going to go back to school. I did, but in a way it was like I couldn't handle it but I try to educate myself my own way, you know. Those gang members think that we don't have a choice, you know, other than just being out there on the streets, gang banging. We all got choices. You could do whatever you want to do. Sometimes we think that we got to prove things to other people. You don't have to prove nothing to other people, just to yourself, what you could do, what you could be. There needs to be peace in our barrios. The drive-by shootings need to stop. We don't need no more dead people on the street. We need educated people. We don't need to go to more funerals. We've been to too many of them. We don't need another drug dealer in the community. We already have too many of them. On May 14, 1992, Ana Lizarraga was murdered by members of her former gang. <laughs> Lizarraga was packing for her mother's funeral in Utah. Two masked men rushed to the driveway and opened fire. Police say she was executed. Police aren't sure why she became a target. They're looking at her work as a gang counselor. The one-time gang member was trying to get kids out of gangs. She would help us if like, we were her own kids. She would bend her back for us and try to help us, try to make the steak clean. Anna showed a lot of kids that they do have a choice, that there is a life outside the projects. Her death reminds me just how far we still have to go. The big gang problem is not going to stop overnight. It wasn't started overnight. It's not going to stop overnight. It's going to take a lot of work. Not necessarily a lot of money, but a lot of work. Because what we got to do as a society in general is we got to stop working against them. And we got to start working with them. We can't keep degrading them, trying to show them they ain't nothing in this world. And everybody has to be somebody in this world to, to live a good life, you know? You know how to play, huh? You know how to play? You can learn, OK? I think the kids in East L.A., like any kids, they need hope. The only way you get hope is by having the opportunity to see a future. And right now, it looks pretty dark. Pick it up. Pick it up. We need to commit ourselves to building a better future for them with education and jobs. And the kids have to choose to stop the violence and take responsibility 
for making that future happen. Hey, the girl. All right, huh? Never forget who you are. Never forget who you are. Never forget who you are. Take it from the MC Willamba. I'm not a minister or a sinister. I just dropped the rhymes because that's my business. Huh? I'm not political or a cynical. I just speak the truth because to me that's very critical. I'm just a vato like any other vato except I rap on the mic. Yeah, Simon, yo canto. And I truly believe that God todo poderoso gave me this gift to spread my message with my vocals. Boulevard, I see me llamo and I'm about to declare to all the hits that they have made it in this world out there. Never forget who you are, yeah. You should never forget where you came from. Cause your gente or your raza are expected to see a helping hand with some of their problems. How can you think of yourself with all that money you made? You see the vato shooting nothing, boom, they die in the base. You see the highness with the county checks and county stampia. While the other rasas out there getting college degrees, huh? I'm mad with so much frustration. I don't wanna see my hand die from this damnation. Never forget who you are, yeah. You should never forget where you came from. Cause your hand they all your rasa are expecting to see a helping hand with some of their problems. Never forget who you are. Never forget who you are. Never forget who you are. Take it from the M symbol of Really, really bad in the rats to lost. The only chick I know you heard was that with James on most. Why the media just focused on other Latinos, calling them looters. Why not? They're calling them illegals. It's not the people that I'm dissing, but the system that they run. For us to fight, we need to be come as one. Fight the power is our model, unity is our creed. Come on, you rise and roll, moms, come down and plant the seed. To the little chavalitos who look up to you. Any little thing you do, they wanna do that too. I know I'll do my best to help them learn how to To help them realize we're not a bunch of vultures Cause vultures homeborn known to kill each other And I'll be damned if they say I'm a killer But brown brother Boulevard just spoke And they say no cabila Remember that our raza siempre vivirá Never forget who you are Never forget who you are Never forget who you are Take it from the MC Boulevard Fight the powers on model And unity is our creed. Come on, you Rasa role models. Come down and plant the seed. I dare you. Huh. Never forget. Never forget. Yeah. Never forget who you are. Remember who you are. Remember who you are.